going to discuss about highlight control system for a large menu for diabetes patient. The menu is green chicken, green salads, and green tea. Do you guys wonder what is Halal Control Point? Halal Control Point is a stage in the development of Halal Foods to prevent cross-contamination hazard in Halal Food. The menu for diabetic patients consists of main dish, side dish, dessert and also drinks. Based on the menu from the KPJ, the main dish is grilled chicken. So, there are six flow in the grilled chicken processing uh, which are raw material, washing, slice and debone, marinade, grill and plating. In the first flow, uh, there is one hazard that we must concern about. Uh, the first flow is the raw material. So, the chicken that is already slaughtered according to Sharia law should be transported to the kitchen in a separate condition with non halal animal or non halal ingredient that makes it become prohibited for Muslim to consume. Double checking toward the condition of the chicken in the truck and the use of container that hold the chicken should be done by the dietitian that is on duty. This action is very important as the contamination between halal sorted chicken with non-halal animal or food might occur which will cause it is not safe and haram if consumed. Hence, halal critical limit should be complying to avoid this contamination. The chicken accepted from the farmer should be halal animal and transport separately from non-halal animal. The container used to put the chicken must be free from any non-halal ingredients or animal and also must not use after place non-halal animal without septu. Beside, the chicken should be transported with appropriate temperature which is usually negative 10 until negative 5 degrees Celsius and in the frozen condition to make sure it is not contaminated and still fresh to consume. Inspection must be performed on the chicken using food thermometer. If all of the requirement is not fulfilled, the chicken must be rejected and not safe for people consumption. Aha, uh -huh. now you guys understand right what is HCP uh, in the first step. Now we move on to the next step which is the washing. There is a control point in washing. The specification of the water used to clean the meat already agreed by both parties such as Jakim and Satu. But make sure that the water used to wash the poultry free from any rice that can cause harm if consumed. Next step in grilled chicken processing is slice and debone. The chicken that will be sliced and debone must not use the same cutting board and knife that is used for non halal animals. A different cutting board and knife must be provided by each of the institution as if it is using the same, it will cause the poultry meat become contaminated with non halal animal and this is haram for Muslim consumption if not so too. Hmm. Hence, um, the area of production between halal animal and non halal animal must be separated to prevent any contamination and make sure the meat is safe and halal to eat. The CP for slice and debone uh, process must be done smoothly to prevent any chemical and physical hazard that will cause harm to consumer. For example, uh, make sure there is no more bone left in the chicken slice as it will cause physical hazard to consumer if not handled correctly. Okay guys, do you know what is the step after slice and debone? Wait, we want to make a, a grilled chicken, right? So, after slice and debone, we move on to marinade. All of the marinade ingredient, ingredient, sorry, that were bought from the supplier must be halal, which is come with halal certificate. The utensil and container used during marinating must be used separately from non-halal animal or non-halal ingredient. If contamination occur, what you, uh, what you guys expected? Huh? You know? No right. Let me tell you. If contamination occur, which means the container or utensil from uh, for non-halal animals is used uh, for halal animal, the setup process must be done. 
toward the container and utensil to, uh, to ensure that the chicken is halal for patient, especially Muslim patient consumption. For good and quality management, the marinating uh, area for halal animal and non-halal animal must be separated completely to maintain the halal condition of food and to prevent haram food intake. The next step after marinating is grill. Okay, we need to concern about halal control point in grill. The oil used for grilling must come from halal ingredient which can be proof if it is provided with halal level when buying it from supplier. Other than that, the grill itself must be free and clean from any nudges such as the feces of the lizard um, or non-halal animal. Before start grilling, the surface of grill must be clean to prevent any contamination that will cause halal food to become haram and also can cause another disease which is foodborne illness. Hence, the grilling equipment must be kept in a clean and safe storing and also separated with non-halal animal. Oh, hungry! Hungry, right? Now, let's plate it. Okay, there are hazard which is halal control point in plating. So, plate used for plating the food must be made from halal ingredient and also not direct contact with non-halal ingredient. The food that is put on the plate must overall come from halal food and not mixing with any of the non-halal food. If it is mixing, overall of the food on the plate will be haram for consumption, prohibited. Okay, the plate that contains food should be labelled either haram or halal to make sure it is not contaminated from each other and easy to differentiate especially among the dietitian, server and chef. Usually, the plate bought from the supplier are made up from the ceramic. Uh, make sure that the ceramic plate is not made up from non-halal animal bone which can cause haram even we put halal food in it. Huh? Hence, make sure to use type of ceramic plate that made up of halal ingredients such as porcelain and stoneware. Wahi wahi. Oh, is it me? Okay, so let's move on to the side dish which is apple salad. So there is five steps in making of salad which is raw materials, washing, Slicing, mixing and plating. So in the first step, which is raw materials, the raw salads, apples and tomatoes are being supplied by suppliers who are already certificated with halal certificate. The fertilizers used should not contaminate with nuts, corn pigs and dogs and their descendants. The equipment used during the factory process should not contaminate with non-halal ingredients. The risk of contamination should be avoided by segregating the halal and non-halal ingredients and apply proper cleaning procedures. The ingredients used for coating or waxing, if there are any, should not be contain any non-halal ingredients such as gelatin. Any functional ingredients from animal sources need as well be avoided in the process of the vegetables and fruits. The packaging also should not be made from any raw materials that are decreed as nudge by Sharia law. The packaging and labeling materials which are in direct contact with food products shall be halal in nature. It is also should not prepare, process or manufacture using equipment that is contaminated with things that are nudge as decreed as by Sharia law. The materials and treatment used also need to be on the package labeling and give a general sign in the vicinity of food and vegetables. Hmm. So what is the next step? The washing process should be in compliance to requirements by the Sharia law and the sanitation of the factory should comply with good manufacturing practices GMP. The water used should not be contaminated with non-halal ingredients and any tools equipment used should be free from nudge or any non-halal ingredients. Also, the proper cleaning procedures should be applied. Next, we go to the slicing process. So, in the slicing process, any tools used for slicing the salads should be free from nudge or any non-halal ingredients to avoid any contamination. 
the proper cleaning procedures should be applied. The control point in the slicing process is any tools used for slicing the salad should not be exposed to rusting. The proper cleaning procedures should be applied. The next process of salad is mixing. So, the mayonnaise is added to the salad as salad dressing. The mayonnaise is supplied by Ladies Choice, who is certificated by Hala Certificate. Any utensils used to mix the dressing into the salad should be free from nash or any non halal ingredients to avoid any contaminations. The last process of the salad is plating. So, for the plating, any utensils used to serve the patient should be free from nash or any non halal ingredients to avoid any contamination. Also, the proper cleaning procedures should be applied. Control point that need to be considered in plating process is any utensils used to serve the patients should not be exposed to rusting. Also, the plate should not be cracked or broken. Besides, the proper cleaning procedures should be applied and double checked before the serving time to avoid the hazards. The next menu is the dessert. The dessert is low fat cretons. Do you know what is low fat cretons? Cretons is basically made from bread added with seasoning and other ingredients to make the perfect menu for a diabetic patient. There are 8 process of making low fat cretons. The first processing is the creating. The brand of the bread used is Gardenia. This brand already received halal certificate and is proven to be halal and constantly monitored. The bread received from suppliers should be transported separately with any ingredients or things that are non-halal and decreed as nuts. Equipment used during processing, preparing and also monitoring must be free from contamination so that it will not change the halal status of the bread. Any ingredients added used must be free from haram gelatin and the packaging also should be made from things that are not decreed as nuggets. The next one is the slicing. The equipment used to cut the bread must be free from contamination with things that are not halal or decreed as nuggets. The cutting board also must be free from contamination from other things that are haram to consume. The workers who handle sharp edge objects must be aware of the risk of cuts that may occur when the blade slips or if an open blade is handled unexpectedly by providing appropriate hand protection such as gloves. The control point for slicing is the knife must not be rusty or dull when cutting or slicing to make sure they do not contaminate the food. What is that? Seasoning. Seasoning used in making low fat ketones are pepper, salt, the dried thyme, the dried oregano, and the paprika. This seasoning must be used from vegetable origin and all components should be halal suitable. Animal based ingredients should not be used in halal bands. The cross contamination from equipment also must be avoided by manufacturing the halal blend truly on clean equipment. Anti dusting agent, an encapsulating agent, and free flow agent, which are the example of minor ingredients, should also be halal suitable. In seasoning, the seasoning blend must not be added with excess additive as well as any chemical substances into it to prevent from poisoning of food. The fourth method is baking. The equipment used for baking bread must not be contaminated with things that are non-halal and only used for baking halal items. Any utensils used prior to baking should be free from nudge to avoid any contamination. The temperature for baking must not be past medium high heat and range time should be in range of 50 to 25 minutes. The next is cooling. The halal food must be physically separated from things or food that is not halal when cooling to prevent them from being mixed or contaminated. Cooling. The temperature for cooling should be on room temperature. The next halal control point is plating. Utensils used to prepare low fat ketones must not be made of or contain any materials that are decreed as nice by Shari of law and shall be used only for halal food. The food should also be physically separated from any other food that does not meet the requirements or any other things that have been 
The Proof by Shelly Angel. Control point for plating is utensil used to serve the food must be in a good condition and not accompanied with rusty, cracked line or broken plate pieces that might be harmful and dangerous for the consumer. Do you know what the last menu? What? 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 Let's get it. So, the drink is green tea. Mmm, yummy, yummy. The green tea process is starting from the tea bag, mixing with hot water and serving. During the serving process, any utensils used to serve the patients should be free from nash or any non-halal ingredients to avoid any contamination. The control points that should be considered during the service is any utensils used to serve should not be exposed to rusting and the proper cleaning procedure should be applied and double check before the serving to the patients. Food processing and preparations are very crucial in regarding to their halal status. The guidelines must be followed in order to maintain the halal status of the food product. Besides of the general guidelines, it is imperative to eliminate all the potential sources of contamination during the preparation of food, especially in large institutions such as hospitals. Aha! This can be achieved through proper food handling as well as thorough cleaning sanitizing the equipment used in the food preparation. It is adequate to clean equipment and regulate the cleanliness by visual obser observation. That's all from us. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Assalamualaikum.